Hello and welcome to the Nerdcast, and I have a little special guest here with us today. My puppy. This is my puppy. His name is Dooney. We love Dooney. Okay. Oh, yeah. This mm -hmm. is actually the second... Time uh, we're recording this. ...one of this. Yeah, time mm -hmm. we're recording this. Because he I failed made last my time. list and completely forgot about like most so many of the villains. Characters. Like seriously, so we're, today we're doing top five Spider-Man villains, and he forgot how good, like all the good Spider-Man villains. So we had to remake the list. Exactly. Uh -huh. I forgot uh, about Kingpin, uh, Mysterio, Mysterio, Kingpin. Uh, I even think I forgot about Doc Ock. Really? Okay. Well, okay. So today with, okay, hey Dooney, Dooney's so cute. This is gonna suck people in. Okay, so uh, today with us we have Dooney, so let's start. My number five is Kingpin. So Kingpin, I, you know what? I'm actually gonna change my list. Kingpin's not my number five. He's gonna be my number four. My number five is Green Goblin. So Green Goblin's really cool. Like, I really like Green Goblin. But, I prefer Green Goblin, not as Norman Osborn, but as Henry Osborn, or whatever his name is, like his son is Green Goblin, because I prefer Norman just being a corrupt businessman who only cares about his son. Uh, and, like, I, I like Norman as Green Goblin, but I like Henry more as Green Goblin. My favorite versions of Green Goblin, outside of comics, are uh, Spider-Man PS4. That's probably my favorite version of Norman Osborn, has, because I prefer him as a corrupt businessman. Also, I like him in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. I thought he looked really cool in Into the Spider-Verse. And I liked him in the original 60s cartoon, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. So yeah, Green Goblin's my number five. What is your number five? Uh, wait, first off. Remember last list? Yes. Do you think the Spider-Man and his amazing friends was the same as the awesome Spider-Man? No, because the one I'm talking about is the one that okay. came out in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, I, I watched that one too when I was little. But anyway, my number five is, like the last list, very overrated. Uh, he's always a side character, never the main character, but when he is, he just doesn't pose as much as a threat as the other ones. It's Venom. People really like him. Including uh, Fletcher. Yeah, yeah, Fletcher, our people, friend like from Fletcher the Mario from video. previous episodes. It's his favorite, but I don't get that. Like, he, I'm sure he looks he's cool, just not that good. but he's not that interesting. I mean, mm -hmm. the Venom movie was good, but I mean, he wasn't up against Spider-Man, who every single time kicks the crap out of Venom. I didn't even see the Venom movie. Honestly, the only thing that makes me want to see it is one, because it's a big budget comic book movie, and I'm a sucker for those, obviously. And two, because uh, he's played by the same guy who played Bane in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. And Bane is a much better character, by the way. Bane is great. Venom is Yeah, Bane in that is great. It's not Batman and Robin Bane. Nobody cared about me until I put on the mask. Sorry. But yeah. Bane, Bane good, Venom mediocre. I like Bane. I like Venom, it's just I think he's overrated, and I'm getting tired of him. But my number uh, four is Kingpin. So, okay. Sure, Kingpin normally doesn't fight Spider-Man anymore, but I just think he's really cool. I think, uh, like, I prefer him being an enemy of Spider-Man than da Daredevil. Uh, my favorite versions of him are uh, in... Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man PS4. And I just really like Kingpin. I think he looks cool. I think he has cool abilities. And I think he's a really cool mobster. And Spider-Man needs more mobsters to fight. So, oh! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so who is your number four? I had to go tend to my dog. Who's okay, number my number four. I'm actually going to re- write this, it's going to be Doc Ock. Doc Ock. I mean, he's okay, and most things that I've played, he's like a fine boss. I'm mad. And, 
like most things that I've watched, like the really the old Spider-Man series. I mean, he's not too entertaining. One of the most entertaining versions of him is the one where he turns into Spider-Man. And that's because it's not really him. It's kind of just Spider-Man. I don't really see much in the guy. Sure, he's like one of the biggest threats to Spider-Man. But I mean, he looks like a dork. Uh, and he's just a guy with like tentacle things who's really smart. You can beat him up pretty easily. Okay, so my number uh, three is um, Mysterio. So uh, Mysterio is one of the characters Grayson had to add into his list, which is why we had to redo the past video because he forgot about him. But Mysterio was just really cool. He reminds me of Clayface mixed with Scarecrow, who are two of my favorite Batman villains. Because I really like how he's like an actor, or not like an actor, but he's like obsessed with movies and like special effects things and I was a l not disappointed I I was a little disappointed in him in Spider-Man Far From Home but I still really liked him for a while Mysterio was my favorite Spider-Man villain so gotta give mad props to the guy I really like I mean, him he's really good he's actually mm -hmm. kind of similar to Scarecrow he is think. he uses gas to like intoxicate and make people have hallucinations in some comics just like Scarecrow. So, in a lot of ways, he's really like Scarecrow. My favorite version of Mysterio outside of comics is, um, the, uh, the Disney Infinity video game. Which is also my favorite version. Actually, oh my gosh, when I was talking about Green Goblin, I forgot about Disney Infinity and, like, the Spi Amazing, or Spider-Man show. That version of Green Goblin is so cool. I really like how he looks. It's my favorite design for him. But yeah, I really like him. He kind of looks like like a big giant like green monster. So I think he looks really cool. It's my favorite design for him. So uh, who is your number, whatever number you're on now? Three? Who's your number three? Okay, my number three is... A giant fishbowl. It is also Mysterio. I love Mysterio. Gotta love you Mysterio. Know, Mysterio is just a good character. I didn't talk about him much and that because he was my number three. Uh, it, he's a really good character and I really like him. Like, everyone's gotta love on some Mysterio. Okay, that doesn't sound good. I'll Everyone. take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> really easily take that out of context. But, uh, he's such a good character, and everyone likes him, unless you don't knew, know who that is. I mean, he was the main villain of Far Away From Home. Yeah, In my opinion, budget. that movie wasn't as good, but I feel like it Shut didn't up. really have a good mysterious. It's my favorite, I mean, it's my favorite live I mean, action uh, Spider-Man movie. Uh, I don't know. I disagree. It's uh, I loved Far From Home. I was a little disappointed by their Mysterio, but it was definitely my favorite uh, Spider-Man live-action movie and my favorite, like one of my favorite MCU movies, and I think it's one of the funniest. So my number two was originally my number one, but I had to think it over, and yeah, I can't put him as my number one, but my number two is The Lizard. Oh, Lizard. I went through such a big, like, uh, okay, so Mysterio was my favorite villain, but then it really shifted towards Lizard. I went through a big Lizard phase where I wanted all the Lizard comics. I uh, But the reason Lizard, even though I think Lizard has a great visual design, I think he is similar to another Batman villain I like, Killer Croc, but I think he's even better because he's kind of like Man Bat, but cooler. And, uh, he's like a mix between Killer Croc and Man Bat, and he's better than them both. And I think he has an amazing visual design with, like, the lab coat and the purple and the green. I really think he looks really cool. So, yeah, he is my he was my favorite Spider-Man villain, but I had to change that because I realized there was one I like a little bit more. So, anything to say about Lizard? Oh, Lizard's not even on my list. That uh, makes me sad. I didn't really think much of Lizard. I didn't even, mm -hmm. like, it kind of surprised me it was on your list. Because not too many people think about Lizard. I 
mean, Lizard is like, in some ways, he's like Hulk, except, you know, in Hulk Ragnarok when he couldn't change back? Mm hmm Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mm hmm That's about how Lizard is. He mm -hmm. tried to combine two things that make him really strong, like Man Bat, but then it failed, uh, mm -hmm. like Man Bat. Mm -hmm. He's basically just man bat, and but it looks cooler. He can't. Yeah, he's basically man bat, except the guy decided to make himself a lizard. Yeah, they're very similar characters, and I don't know why I like man bat. I mean, I don't. I like man bat, but I love lizard, and I don't know why. I think it's just because I think lizards are cooler than bats, and because I think lizard looks cooler. Or Batman. <laughs> oh yeah, Batman's great. But, um, my num- oh, my- oh, yeah, I forgot. What's your number two? Okay, my number two is a mobster. A very, I used to think strong guy, but then, uh, you know, he turned out to be extremely fat. I you okay, it's Kingpin. it's Kingpin. I'm gonna get that out of the way first, but- I used to think he was really buff because in most of the TV shows I saw, no, he's really overweight. Well, yeah, but that's, he's really strong. Like, sure, he's strong, but that doesn't make him buff. I thought he was extremely buff, but he's not. He's just strong. Mm -hmm. But the reason he's on my list is, uh, might be Spider Verse. Might be because I played like a little bit of Spider-Man PS4 and he was the main guy you beat the crap out of. Uh, and that just made me really like the character. Uh, especially the versions where he loses his wife. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and his kid. That, mm -hmm. and Spider-Verse. It, it, it's really good seeing, like, in that specific one why he's a criminal, why he's trying to do the spot, like, try to change the universe. And it also gives him a thing like Batman, where his parents died, and now he wants vengeance on things like that. Because, mm -hmm. like, Spider-Man, he blames for killing his uh, wife and kids. Mm -hmm. And then Batman knows that robbers killed him. So, in a way, he's kind of like Batman. But, yes. like... But reversed, also evil. Completely reversed. So, um, my number one is, so when you were talking about a specific character on this list, you talked about him kind of poorly, and it kind of made me mad, because they're my... Lizard. No. My number one is Doc Ock. Oh, yeah, Doc Ock. So, Doc Ock... Literally, here, let me tell you how easy he would be to take out. Hold on, so, shut up. He goes Doc at Ock, his, He goes at, up. like, a city building. A silly city building. All you have to do is web him to the face and do a web around the road to get just around his little claw thing. You can't use him. He's screwed. Now he's just a dorky-looking guy. He's also the smartest... Okay. He is the smartest Spider-Man villain. He is one of the most threatening, and out of, so, Spider-Man has, like, two big arch nemesises, and that's Green Goblin and Doc Ock, and Green Goblin is, like, I, his number one I foe. I disagree. But, like, no, in comics, like, Green Goblin and Doc Ock are, like, his biggest threats, but Norman Osborn, uh, Green Goblin, is normally considered his arch enemy, but I think that Doc Ock is a better arch enemy, because I think he is a very interesting character with a lot of layers, Especially in, like, Spider-Man PS4, where he has, like, mental illness due to his, like, injuries and, like, his, like, the robotic arms. I thought he was, like, I like his, like, split personality. Because, like, Spider-Man, like, Spider-Man doesn't have many split personality characters. Well, kind of, Lizard and Green Goblin kind of, but I think about it, not many with mental illness. Basically, Marvel's Batman. Yeah, because he's their like, best Like, there's hero. a lot of characters that are... Mm -hmm. Like, way too similar. Yeah. But, like, I think that Doc Ock is, like... I think Doc Ock is the biggest threat. I think he has some of the best appearances outside of the comics. I think that he is the smartest, bat like, Spider-Man villain. 
So, and the reason that he slightly beats out Lizard is because he's had better appearances outside of the comics. Lizard is great, but he hasn't, like, uh, made any amazing appearances outside of the comics. His best is honestly Lego, because I think his level is just really fun in the original Lego game. But he also appeared in the Amazing Spider-Man movie, and he was kind of forgettable. He looked really cool, though, but not as cool as he does in the comics. So yeah, Doc Ock is my favorite Spider-Man villain, because I think he has some great appearances in, um... Sorry, we can't let my dog out of my room right now, because the other dog is out, so he's just whining. But uh, my favorite appearances of him are Amazing Spider-Man, um, where he, like, has, like, longer hair, and he, and he has, like, gray outfit, and he looks really cool. Um, and I thought he was really good in Spider-Man PS4. So would you like anything to say about that? Uh, Doc Ock, not too good. He is, though. He's best. No. Okay. My number one might shock a few of you. Oh. Uh, Shocked me. This guy, yeah, I bet you could already tell who he was at that time. Uh, it, it's Shocker. But the reason why, a lot of people are probably going to get really mad at me for this one. I but am. the reasoning be, the only very few Spider-Man comic books I read, he was some of the main villains. Uh, I really liked him. I liked the way he looked. I, uh, well, I mean, his voice was kind of annoying. <laughs> well, that might have just been the voice that I gave him when I was reading it. Now that I think about it. <laughs> but, he, he's a really good character. I love how he's not even on your list, but he's, he's my not. number one. Uh, I, I really like the character. I mean, I don't know too much about his backstory or anything, but in those comic books, he was like the main guy that I was looking forward to seeing in there, and I saw him, and it was great. Okay. Shocker is on my top ten, but I he doesn't make it onto my top five, just because... I don't think he's terribly interesting. I think he looks cool, and I think he has a kind of good backstory. But him and Electro are kind of similar, and I feel like Electro pulls off the, like, the, like, for, like, Oh, just, Electro yeah. looks disgusting. Electro's awesome, but I think... He's like Robin, if Robin was mixed with Star-Lord. I think Electro's awesome and better than Shocker, and Electro's not even on my list. Well, that's a Shocker. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, like, I, I like Shocker, but I feel like Electro and him have very similar ability, like, abilities and kind of, like, a similar backstory, kind of, and I feel like Electro does it better. And I feel like Shocker beating out Doc Ock, Lizard, Mysterio, even, like, yeah, Green Goblin, e even lesser villains like Green Goblin and Venom is crazy to me. But hey, opinions, opinions. But yes, this was our top five Spider-Man villains. Doc Ock is I the mean, best. CJ's Rainbow Six is the best game. It, that That's yeah. just insane. You said Despicable Me was the greatest 3D animated film of all time above Kung Fu Panda 2. I forgot about a lot of them, okay? Still, above... You put Despicable Me above masterpieces like Kung Fu Panda 2... And Kung Fu Panda 2 is a masterpiece. Yeah, that's, it, that's it has it, it wasn't is wasn't that good. I need to go sneak it to, sneak into his house to teach him a lesson tonight. But I'm, <laughs> he's all the way in the other side of the country. What? He's uh, don't no. worry. You're at the other side of the country. I can't find you yet. But uh I can't find you yet. <laughs> so, um <laughs> Okay, well uh, I guess this is the end. He will mm -hmm. find you if you do not subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you we say, make about daily uploads. And if you say Despicable Me is not the best, I mean, is the best computer animated film. But Grayson, could you finally figure out the slogan and say it? Do you finally know okay. how? Okay. Which one's first? Figure it out. Say it. Uh, good night. And Good day. Oh my gosh, you almost had it and you failed. 
Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Good night and good morning. <laughs>